Hi, this is Claudio from expertfa.com recording a series of uh, webinars in order to help you improve your FA skills especially in ANSYS Workbench This is uh, the YouTube channel of our website where you will find our webinars and many many more FA movies and this is our website and we invite you to check them when you have the spare time so the FEA we are doing today will be that of a car crash and it will be a very simple explicit dynamics case Let's drag the specific dynamic FE to the project schematic window. We will double click the engineering data. Activate the engineering data sources. And because we would like the car body to be deformed uh, plastically, we will choose the structure still nonlinear material which is added to our favorites materials we'll close the engineering data tab and import the geometry right click this is our geometry and double click model chose to have a surface body for the car body in order to have shell elements and here the wedge will have let's say uh, solid tetrahedron elements the question mark here on the geometry comes from the fact that the shell geometry should have a thickness assigned Let's change to millimeters, 0 0.3 millimeters. The material will be structural steel, nonlinear. By default, ANSYS finds the contact between the bodies. We should delete it. Because the interaction between bodies is already set by default to frictionless. So if we generate the mesh, we will see that it is made of, let's say, quadrilateral elements and here hexahedron elements. Let's change this. On the shell body, we will choose only triangles and the solid body we will choose to contain only tetrahedrons let's update the mesh so this is the mesh let's look on statistics 2040 nodes and 8000 elements which is pretty good for an explicit FA, meaning that it won't take very much to solve. I hope you already know that uh, explicit dynamics FA uses linear elements, let's say. The interpolation function between nodes is of first order and not quadratic like in the other FA so let's assign a velocity on the car body 
let's change the units to meters a car, car body will come into the wedge on the x-axis let's assign 50 meters per second As you already know, I guess, 50 meters per second multiplied with pi equals 157 kilometers per hour. So, let's fix the wedge. restrain the lateral sides of the car body with a displacement we will choose here edge and with control pressed we will select only the edges of the car body the edges of the lateral sides so apply and we will not allow any vertical displacement so the y component should be zero we have question mark here on the analysis settings because then we need an end time as you can see this is a let's see let's say a toy car and we need to displace it a little more than 200 millimeters this end should be here let's say 200 and 40 millimeters let's say two twenty five this is the best so let's make a rule of thumb if our car displaces with fifty thousand millimeters in one second then two hundred twenty five millimeters will take how much second? We don't know this. So two twenty five multiplied by one over fifty thousand. Equals Zero point zero zero forty five seconds. So we can take this value and insert it as end time. Let's insert some output. All of these scoped to the car body. We left the default here, x axis, because this is the direction of velocity so let's hit solve and see what happens you see 
see that the VFA takes around 30 plus minutes. So let's try and make it faster. We'll stop it. We see that the solution started, let's say. The car body has the proper material. So, let's reduce the relevance here, minus 100. What we need is to decrease the number of nodes and elements. Number of nodes gives us the number of equations to be solved. So, relevance minus 100. Update. It is a very good number here, but we're interested in having, let's say, these faces with finer mesh. Let's say around 7 millimeters. And the other faces that do not interest, our, interest us to have coarse elements. Let's say around 30 millimeters. So 1000 and 3000. This looks very nice. And let's hope we get a decrease in the solving time. Yes, four more minutes is more, more suitable now. On the solution output we can look on the energy conservation where these plots will tell us the tendency of the solution instead of having all the display points let's choose uh, 100 what is important here is that the energy error should not increase because in LS analysis settings by default is 0 0.1 this means maximum 10% energy error so the fact that it's constant is very well we can also look on the energy summary This is a very important factor that we need to, to look out. And let's come back to see how much time we have until the FEA closes. So I will pause the analysis for two minutes and resume at the end. So we are near the end of the FEA.
which converged really nice. Let's see the results. So let's play the deformation. You see that the carbon it's that split. Now is in two pieces. This is for to verify that we have the maximum displacement that we calculated before, meaning two hundred twenty five millimeters. So also the value that we described, we find it here, which is very nice. It's the constant value that we input here. So this is the plastic strain, meaning that the car body Obviously, it's plastically deformed. With the value of two means two hundred percent. the stress very high because it led to splitting of the carbide so this is the first webinar from expertfa.com we wait you to see more and improve your FA knowledge remember to visit our website because it's updated weekly and uh, also check our YouTube channel hoping that this was very useful for you I wish you all the best and good luck